Mrs. Kane, you need an appointment. This is for Mr. Kane. Tell Charlie that the Wicked Witch of the West dropped something off from her lawyer. My name is Rich Roche, and uh, I directed Rochelle, which is a three-part episode. How I learned about the whole thing was that um, Jennifer Beals called me. She then she was just like describing what John and Rodrigo were doing. John got in touch with me, and then he's just like, you know, um, can you come out like these days? We can maybe I'm going to send you a script, and I'm like, wow, this is all going so quickly. I'm like, this is amazing. It's, yes, yes, yes. We haven't been properly introduced. I'm Panatamalawa. Uh, Rochelle. I'm Scott Turow, and I'm the writer of Rochelle. What are you doing? I told my lawyer I would drop that off. Why pay a messenger service? I hope you don't mind, but um, I don't see the point in that just now. Oh, it's my regular practice, Rochelle. If we want to proceed, I'm going to need your full name, address, and social security number. John and I have been doing stuff together since 1993 and uh, he uh, controls the rights to a couple of my novels. We've done stuff for uh, TV together, um, pilot that was filmed a couple of years ago, um, and he's a close personal friend. So when he began to get involved in this project, he talked to me several times about, um, you know, if you want to write something, uh, that would be great. And I told him the truth, which is, you know, I've never written anything originally, original for uh, the screen. And, you know, I've had s novels filmed. Uh, but, you know, we had lunch, I don't know, six months ago, and he said, well, isn't there something um, like this? And I said, well, you know, I started a play, uh, but I really didn't think it was working uh, as a play. And, uh, so and he, we, we talked about it, and he said, well, you know, how would that, how would that work for this format? So um, I sent him an outline. He, he and Rodrigo then uh, gave me really extensive notes, which were basically like, you know, this is your play, but we can't do anything like that. Uh, and uh, they were very helpful. So it was really kind of a collaboration between the three of us in conceiving of this. Uh, and then uh, I did a first draft, and I got more notes, and uh, you know, it was, as you would expect from a novelist, much too long. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I was trying to keep it contained to a single set. Uh, so it was a little static, um, so we agreed to um, you know, in, invent a, a second set. Um, and uh, it was a lot of fun working with both of them on this. Rochelle is the story of a divorcee who decides to hire a prostitute to break her ex-husband's heart. It's meant as an act of, you know, very well calculated revenge on a guy whom, as she says, has always been lucky and doesn't know what it's like uh, to feel any kind of loss. So, um, you know, that's the setup. I'm sorry, but you seem really angry. Angry? In high definition. In 3D. Thematically, it's about the pain of somebody in Rochelle's position. And, uh, you know, this is, I'm, you know, I'm 63. Uh, the nest has been empty for me and my friends for about 15 years. And I've seen a lot of this story. So, and from both sides. And frankly, it's painful from both sides. I personally had a lot, a lot of sympathy for Rochelle, um, played by Rosanna Arquette in this, in this, uh, in this piece. Um, I thought Rosanna just brought this real humanity to it. I think she, she like, 
there was just such like a level of pain that she brought to the part that that I uh, that I thought was so authentic and so just incredible. I think we're so lucky to have her. Charlie is a man who's been lucky in everything all his life. I want you to grind out his heart like a cigarette butt under your heel. It's time for him to deal with something he's never known before. Which is loss. I, I read the piece. I think what drew me to the piece was that I think that that I, I'm a real, I love, uh, like I, I would love to do just revisionist fairy tales, like, you know, like, and this feels like, um, it, it has sort of a vibe for me of like a Grimm's fairy tale or, uh, or like an Aesop's fable, like that kind of like, but in, in, in like a sort of contemporary revised version of that. Um, so I really like that. I really like that, um, that, that kind of straightforward, like, you know, uh, sort of morality tale, really. I mean, it sort of is, or, or cautionary tale. Okay, I'm gonna turn you really gently towards camera, okay? I'm turning you slowly so that you stay. There we go. Tell us who you are. I'm Allison, and I was the director of photography on Rochelle. Are you like Allison, like Cher or Sting, or do you have a last name? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm Allison Kelly. Allison, this is where you say it was wonderful to work with me. Are you frozen? Or are you acting frozen? It was wonderful to work with Rose. Take two, let's hear that again. It was really fun. I've known Rose for years, and it was really fun to get to collaborate with her. Maybe we do that lower, sort of down by the uh, uh, dick, down by the lamp. Justin Gamboa. My role on this one is actually a first AC. Today was like the 61st time I've come to the stage, uh, and each time has been work related. So I don't know how many I've done, I just know I've been coming here a lot. Second AC um, is probably most famous for the, uh, the clapper, the clapper board, the slate. Um, anytime you see in the behind the scenes footage and you'll see the slate, that's the second AC. Anytime you see tape on the ground uh, where an actor is supposed to hit, the second AC laid those marks down. I've done new media stuff before but never on this scale with this type of talent, these type of director of photography. He's like, I've never done a new media with an ASC DP before and I've had the opportunity to do that on this. I think I have, you know, the will to push through and be a cinematographer someday but I want to watch the great ones first. Um, and uh, I, like, I like the idea of sort of working your way up through the camera department, you know, starting off as a loader or a second AC, uh, and then becoming a first AC, and then a cam op for, for somebody, um, and then, you know, eventually doing your own thing, shoot, being your own shooter. Hey, marker. Action! So I'm, I'm, I'm here, get a little touch of the window, that there, so. We sort of decided to approach it in this kind of stylized way, and and really, you know, when you when you when you and use the split screen to sort of compare these two women, they're just they're it's not like they're very different. They're just two women in in, in, in different decades of their story. Yeah, I found Rose's approach to it really interesting, um, and particularly just seeing the similarities between the two characters and using the split screen to uh, make what is a very long scene with two people across the table from each other more visually dynamic. I worked two jobs to support him through business school. I bore him two sons that I raised mostly by myself. I smiled through client dinners and disease of the week charity events that he had to be seen at. I listened to his tirades about the idiots he worked with. I flattered his ego where he barely thought about mine. <laughs> We all know that this thing is going to happen. We all know that we're going to like all, all stream content. Like I watch things on my devices more than I watch them on my television at home. So it's so cool to be here and to see sort of the level that this is 
working on, like, you know, having done series television, like, it's really, it's really cool, and like, I think the energy around it is really, really neat, too. And then take a step over, probably, right, or that, split a little more. And Scott came to set one day, he was really lovely. Um, he was so, like, what a great guy, you know? And it's interesting, his process as a writer, my process as a writer is like, so different than his. He sort of goes, he works in a novel head, like his, you know, he's like, he's like, it's prose. Mine's always dialogue, you know? And it, it was very interesting to talk to him about, like, you know, like, where he begins. Or, or the, I think that this, I think it, this, this was, this Rochelle, I think, used to be a play. It was just fun to, like, you know, chat with him, as well as him being, you know, we're both Chicagoans, you know, but and, 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 as well as him being just such a really, such a nice guy. I yeah. think it's really hard to live in the United States these days and not consume YouTube. As a matter of fact, uh, I was reading a draft of a novel the other day in which the author has included links to videos that he's posted on YouTube. Uh, so this is a novel that actually incorporates YouTube. Uh, so that's how far things have gone. So yeah, uh, I certainly um, you know, see things on YouTube.